to the south side where the Irish parade returns after being sidelined by the pandemic. It's a big deal, a time honored tradition for generations. CBS News Jackie Costick live at 108th and Western along the parade route. Jackie. Yeah, Brad, Western Avenue is calm and quiet for now, but in about 36 hours, the Southside Irish Parade will be making its triumphant return to the streets of Beverly and Morgan Park after taking a two year hiatus because of the pandemic. Once I told my friends that I got on a float one year, they said, oh my gosh, you're like a celebrity. Meet George, Mary, Caitlin, and Patrick, the wee wee folks who just so happen to be the heirs and heiresses of the Southside Irish Parade. She was in the first parade. She was, she was only three. Imagine Mary and George's surprise learning that their mom was an inaugural marcher. I feel like a superstar when I heard that. The four grandkids, the beneficiaries of a rich Southside tradition, started by Pat Coakley and George Hendry two longtime neighbors and friends back in 1979. My wonderful husband, George Hendry, when he was a little boy, marched in the 79th Street Irish Parade that then eventually went downtown under the auspices of the first Mirror Daily. Coakley and Hendry felt their kids were missing out, so they got some neighbors together and got to marching. We had a float, and it was uh, a Jack Hendry's baby buggy with a cardboard box on it. And we gave them Twinkies and Kool-Aid. So that was the first parade party. More than 40 years later, the Southside Irish Parade has grown significantly larger, moving from neighborhood streets to Western Avenue, going from about 17 people to, at times, an estimated 200,000. The after parties have gotten better, too. Good corned beef, and we drink a lot of pop. Much of that corned beef coming from County Fair, which sells the good stuff in bulk. During this week and a half, we sell about 10 tons, which is 20,000 pounds of corned beef. There we go. Even while the big production of a parade took a pause during the pandemic, the founding families still marched, just themselves like the good old days. But this year, they'll once again take it all in from the top of a float, their family tradition. And any time, any year, I have rounded the bend at 103rd and Western, and I look to east and I look to west. I go, wow, I cannot believe this. Now, the parade steps off from 103rd and Western at noon on Sunday. And, Brad, it is expected to be a wee bit warmer because, man, it is chilly out here tonight. Chilly, brutally chilly out here tomorrow as well. So they are lucky that it's happening on Sunday. Yeah, they are. Jackie, thank you. Meanwhile, banners are being hung along Columbus Drive for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. It steps off from Balboa, 1215 tomorrow. We have a link to both parade routes on our app, CBS Chicago. You can download it wherever you get your apps.